I'm excited to say that we finally have a change in the San Diego real estate market. But first, I want to share that the average median sales price is the same as last month at $750,000, which is an 18% increase compared to last year at this time. And interestingly, in June, San Diego had one of the highest year-over-year -year gains in the entire country. The number of new homes coming on the market has been down consistently for the past few months. Uh, this month, it's down 12.6% compared to last year. But the change that we saw is that the number of homes that have gone pending or off the market has gone down, 8.3% actually. So inventory is still shrinking, it's just not shrinking as much. And this is something to keep an eye on, and I personally believe that this is due to the pent-up demand for vacations. I know that I'm seeing on my social media feeds uh, my friends going to Hawaii on an Alaskan cruise to the Grand Canyon. People have taken a break from searching for a home to go on vacation. So we really need to keep our eyes on these numbers over the next couple of months to see if it's a fluke thing because of this pent-up demand of vacation or if we're really seeing a market trend. What does this mean to you if you're looking to buy a home? It means there's less competition right now. What I'm seeing is that instead of 18 to 20 offers on a home, there's three to four offers, and buyers are still locking in mortgage rates under 3%, which is really amazing. If you're thinking of selling, what does this mean to you? Well, it depends. If you're thinking of selling and moving up to another home, I think you take advantage of it because I think you have more opportunity on that home that you buy. If you're thinking of selling and getting out of the area, I think you capitalize on it. You sell your home and you move away. The person who I don't think it makes sense to sell is the person who's thinking of selling and then renting. I believe values will continue to rise. If it were me, I'd want to hold on to that property a bit longer, continue to ride until we see values crest, and then maybe unload that property. Will this happen or when will this happen? I don't know, but if it does, I just don't think it will happen anytime soon. Another question that I've been asked is if I think that there's gonna be a lot of foreclosures coming soon, which would increase the inventory, particularly with the end of the government moratorium. And I don't think so. Everyone in San Diego County has a lot of equity in their home. So if someone is having a financial hardship and unable to pay their bills, they'd be able to really easily sell their home, take their equity, and get back on their feet again. If you're thinking of buying, selling, or investing in real estate, or I can help you in any way, please reach out to me. Call, text, or message. I'm here for you. Thanks so much for watching.